hello my friends welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are here for the first time i'm dilhani from tiny popsicle i'm here to share tips and tricks for productivity with some creativity so i would like you to consider subscribing for my future videos even though it's a little late i wish you a very happy international women's day ladies i'm not much of a believer in special days Instead, I believe every day is important for a particular purpose. No matter it is to care about women, men, kids, elders, animals or whatever. However, since we are in Women's Week, I thought of sharing how to make a spread dedicated to self-care and planning for an ideal day you want. So, let's get right into it. Quick disclaimer. These are not some hard rules someone must follow, but this is the order I found myself functioning better. So I highly encourage you to study your daily routine and make your spread accordingly. Let's begin with the morning routine. To be honest, I was not a morning person for a very long time and I find myself still failing to get up early in some days. So that is why I wanted to put this into a paper and write it down on my journal so that it can keep reminding me of what I want to achieve. And my ideal day would start from 5 a.m. This can be 6 or 7 or whatever, it's really depending on your day. But if you have ever heard of one hour away, I'm sure you will love to wake up at 5 a.m. If you have never heard of this one hour away, let me know I can make you a separate video on that. Back to the topic, immediately after waking up, I make my bed as the first task of the day. By doing that, I feel accomplished the very first task of the day and I, it gives me that momentum to kickstart the day. Then I'm going to stray to my glass of water, which rehydrates the body and gives me the cleansed energy. You can add lemon to your glass of water, but I like mine plain and simple. Then sometimes I go for a coffee. Yeah, I'm a coffee person. But if you are a tea person, don't mind me. And I grab my coffee and a book, whether it is a physical book or an audio book, it really doesn't matter. I like to read it while I sip my coffee around 30 minutes or so. Sometimes I like to work out and meditate before I read a book. However, I am an average person and I am not a fan of weightlifting or anything. But I love, love morning walks. That makes me so happy and incredibly calming. I add a few stretching and shaping exercises to my day to make it a little more active. This can take around 40 minutes to 1 hour. Then I sit for about 15 minutes, deep ambient music playing in the background or maybe some affirmations which I meditate upon. I find it uh, enhancing my focus on the work later on the day. Then I'll have a shower really slow and smooth, mix with the favorite skincare products and freshen up for the rest of the day. Then I sit on my table and go through my journal really quick and plan for the priorities of the day. I usually plan for my to-do list normally night before. So this is just prioritizing the task. However, you may use it as a time to write your gratitudes, affirmations, even your book if you are a writer yourself. Then 
My next step is to quick tidy up of absolutely anything. It can be putting away the clothes to declutter, folding the clothes already decluttered, straightening things on my working desk, watering a plant, or even tidy up folders on my laptop that only takes not more than 10 minutes every day. In this way, I can make sure I don't have a ton of deep decluttering to do at the end of the week or whatever the day I get located for that. After all these steps, I really deserve a treat for myself, so it is time for some breakfast. This is where I like to slow down time a little and enjoy my very first meal of the day. Each day, I like to have a versatile breakfast. Of course, this will be different for each and every one of us based on our food preferences, based on the diets we are on, or cultural or traditional reasons. But I'm pretty sure almost all the cultures will agree with me that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So I highly, highly suggest you to not to skip it from many good reasons. The final step I would say is the most dynamic with the new normal. If you are someone who still goes to the work, to the office, you need to get ready for the work. With the circumstances, your handbag or office bag need to be packed up with hand sanitizer, face mask, your everyday makeup goodies if you are carrying them with you, files, keys, whatever you need. And if you are someone who works from home, like me of course, you still need to get dressed for the work even though you do not go out and go out with your office mates. If you did not get dressed for the work, you will spend your time on the work, wandering around the things at home, your family, your kids, whatever. That means total distractions. At the end of the day, you will lose a lot of working hours spent on nothing. Or, you may lose a lot of time, family time or me time, over non-stop working since you are at home. I'm not saying about anything crazy, some selective clothes, little bit of makeup and you're good to go. So in order to avoid these messed up things, you need to get dressed for the work. So this is my normal morning routine I'm following. As I mentioned earlier, you should plan it based on your daily routine and what goals you have towards the morning routine. And before you start working on your job or project, there are a few points you should focus on first. Avoid all distractions. If you need to put away your phone, go to the bathroom, have a snack, whatever it is, finish it before you start working. Prioritize the task at hand, not on the future work or pending ones. Start with the task, need deep focus, since the morning before noon is the best time to do tasks that need utmost attention, so start with them. Take a break in between your completed task, could be 10 to 15 minutes, just take a break and breathe. Get yourself a reward for completing the task that's set up to do. Could be allowing yourself to have a sweet treat, maybe get in time to watch your favorite TV show, whatever you like, get yourself a reward.
Finally, remember to love yourself, be grateful, love your family, be who you are meant to be, and above all, be happy. Apart from the morning routine, nighttime routine is the most important part of the day. So here are some tips to make your nighttime routine more meaningful. Have a family dinner, but if you live alone, have a slow dinner. Have a relaxed time. Clean the dishes. Avoid cleaning part in the next morning. Believe me, it's really annoying. Have a proper skin care routine. Of course, based on your skin type. Channel your day and accomplishments. Plan the next day ahead, which is my favorite part. And have a good night's sleep. At least 6 to 8 hours. So that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this self-care spread idea. If so, give it a thumbs up, share with your friend and subscribe to my channel. If you ended up recreating it, make sure to tag me on Instagram at tiny underscore popsicle. You can find the link in the description below. If you are looking forward to an inspiration, check out my March plan with me video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.